Yeah, so basically um, when I was about three years old, my dad bought me my first dirt bike, which was a QR50. And uh, since then, I don't, to be honest, I don't know where I got the idea of becoming a free, uh, freestyle motocross rider. It's just, um, as far as I know, it's just something I wanted to do since I can remember, really. Um, I started out racing motocross until about the age of 17. Um, and then around my 17th birthday, I moved to Sydney, which is when uh, I started riding with some pro um, freestyle riders like Joel Bouchin and, and these guys who had been in the industry for years. And uh, that's basically where I hit my first ramp and um, met up with the right people to, to make the dream happen, you know? And um, I guess through a lot of hard work and sacrifice and risk and injury, um, I've just kept pursuing the dream and uh, slowly but surely it's starting to pay off. Um, I think I've still got a long way to go, but uh, I think I can, if I just keep doing what I'm doing, um, stay safe, I think I'm going to get to where I want to go. Uh, so basically with the Dreaming series, it's, um, it's been something that I've kind of had in the back of my mind for, for a few years now, but just uh, actually making it come to life was, um, was the hard part. So um, I guess my, my vision for the future of the Dreaming series is just to keep progressing um, each, each one that comes out, just to take it up a notch and hopefully by, um, by I don't know, a few years I'll be, um, I'll be doing who knows what, I mean, um, I guess what I'd, what I'd like to be doing is sort of by the end of it is somewhat, I guess you could say, stepping away from dirt bikes and branching more into um, the likes of what Maddo um, is doing at the moment with his video series, like just, you know, pushing the boundaries of what's possible um, with physics and I guess just pushing the limits of what a human can do in terms of um, stunts, I guess. So yeah. Um, Slowly but surely that's happening and coming to life. I think um, each video that comes out is getting a lot more, more views and a lot more attention. Um, really what motivates me is just the idea of not having to work a nine to five job. Um, I guess just the idea of waking up and, and not having to do anything except what your heart um, desires, I guess, is, is what motivates me. Every day just pushing to, to get to that point in life where um, you can do whatever you want to do really and I guess I'm a pretty big advocate of motivating young kids to you know follow that way of life and um, go down that route of what they feel inside is what they should be what they should be doing in life and not having to work for someone else who tells them what to do and um, I guess that's really what I'm all about is just just living the life that you want to live so so basically um, I guess with the with the Behind the scenes of freestyle, is what I do is graphic design and uh, how that came about was some of the older riders who I guess are on the verge of retirement now, kind of in my ear just telling me that um, you really need to be smart because dirt bikes is not going to last forever. You get to a certain point and your body can't cope with the injuries anymore and um, if you have a family, I mean, you need to provide for them. So you have to plan your career um, after the career that we have now. So that's basically the last few years is what I've been focusing on is to try and set myself up with something so when I'm done riding um, I'm more, I, I have something to fall back on as a plan B so um, the thing that I chose was graphic design because as a kid I mean um, I've always been creative and like to express myself through artwork and stuff like that so I had the decision between tattooing and graphic design I chose graphic design which actually works really well with the industry that I'm in because to market yourself these days is I think just as important as being a good writer is. So behind the scenes, being on the computer, being able to make my image look clean, uh, I think really gives me um, an advantage over some of the other guys who are probably writing as good or better than me, but I think um, because I can market myself the right way, it really um, really takes me that one step further in terms of um, sponsors, people that are interested in me to represent them. So I think uh, my behalf it was probably one of the smart decisions that I've made in my career and and yeah it's motivating um, to see where it's taken me so the current state of FMX um, at the moment in terms of riding itself is better than it's ever been uh, in terms of the industry it's hard to say um, for a while there it did die off and there weren't as many events for people to do but I think now the riding is just um, broken through to a new level so I think promoters 
um, are getting a lot more inspired to start running events. And uh, over the last few years, a lot of the old events that have canned freestyle have brought it back in. Um, so I think the industry's just just had um, a breath of fresh air, really. And I think it's probably a lot of it is to do with the modern technology, the airbag, um, making it a lot safer to try the bigger tricks and with minimal risk. So. Um, I mean, I can only really see it go, going up from here in terms of um, the mindsets that the riders have these days is a lot more corporate um, as well as professional than it was in previous years. So um, that in itself is a huge factor, I think. Um, and like I said, the technology that's allowing us to take it to that next next level is it's all working hand in hand. Um, so I'm pretty excited for the future. I think it's got a lot more legs in it. I mean, a lot of people I've heard over the years talking negatively about action sports in general, saying that it doesn't have much of a future. But I think if you break it down and really think about it, that I think it's got a lot more life. And yeah, I'm excited to see where it's going to go and the new generations taking it to that next level, even past me and what the guys my age are doing. So yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, I mean, obviously one of the biggest um, obstacles in uh, freestyle action sports in general is injuries um, but I think it just comes down to um, the person and their mindset I mean and their determination of what it takes to get back on um, after a, a huge injury because it really does it becomes more of a mental thing than anything I think like mentally mentally being mentally scarred from a previous incident is probably what stops the majority of athletes going to the top. That and I guess just general distraction in life, like partying and um, drugs. Um, so for me, I think it's just being determined and uh, just not letting really anything come in between you and what you set out to do in the beginning. So um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard balancing, balancing your life outside of action sports, but yeah, I think it just comes down to who you are and um, your determination that you have inside of you to just not be distracted. Uh, I haven't really set any boundaries for myself. Um, I mean, the sky's the limit for me and each day I'm just working as hard as I can to, to make things happen. So um, going against the grain for me is really just going against the grain of society and not really letting society put rules um, on me. Like I feel like a lot of people these days just accept their life. I mean, um, just accept their nine to five job that they that they somehow fell into and just, I don't know, pay their bills and then die one day. But I mean, I guess um, I'm, I'm super scared of regret. I don't want to one day regret my life and feel like um, I didn't take opportunities that presented themselves. So not only that, I didn't push hard enough to make the opportunities come to me. So for me, yeah, it's just, um, I don't know, just pushing as hard as I can to, to make my visions a reality. And at the moment, I have some pretty big visions that I think I have the, um, the ability to pull off. Um, so, uh, and then once those become reality, I mean, I don't really know what the future holds, but I think um, I'm motivated and I'm willing to, to, give, to give it a real hot go. So I'm excited for the future and to see where it takes me. It's going to be good. It's hard to say where the progression is going to go. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's. I know there's a, like a handful of guys who um, have the willingness to try and take it to that next level. Which, in the recent um, <clears throat> in the recent weeks, we've already seen guys pulling off tricks that have never been done and never been really dreamed of. No one thought that that'd be possible, and now they're reality. So, I think as long as there's people in the world who um, who have Share, I don't know, share the common interest of pushing, pushing their sport, no matter what it is. Um, there's going to be progression, so uh, I can't really see it dying off.